Well, I finally got that done and I was letting the paint dry, the blue, and while I was at it, I went ahead and got my friend, Mr. Dixie Cup and Mr. Q-Tip. Got me some more of this brown, rust colored brown. And I went over the spots that really did have, uh, you know, issues there with the paint, you know, scratches and all that. So I kind of doctored them up a little bit, but I'm going to go over it with a, and a sand it down, you know, so it'll look, I'm hoping it'll look real anyway. So now I've got to paint this part white, but I was kind of letting that, I done that first and I'm fixing to do the white down here now. Uh, like I said, it's getting kind of late in the day, and I hated to really get started. I'm trying to remember all these spots that actually do have, you know, thin paint or maybe a little bit of rust here and there. But see, remember, this trim goes right through here. So, so I'm going to try to take advantage of that. I don't know if I need to get that off or not. That's probably an old car dealership uh, sticker. But I might try to leave that on. That's kind of cool. Anyway, I've got a few places I got to touch up to. I guess you've noticed it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be it's going to be just fine. It's going to be okay. So I'm going to get at it, and uh, when everything gets good and dry, I'll start sanding. So that's kind of what I'm waiting to do at the moment. So I'll get back with you in a few minutes. Hang in there. Okay, I got the white painted and I have took the brown and went over places that actually were bad. You know, that's real rough. When I sand it down, it should look pretty good. This tailgate, I don't know if you can see the rough texture, but it's really, really rough. And I just got done painting this, so I'm just doing all the rough things and hoping when I sand it off you know some of the white will come out and some of the rust color will take over and look pretty good my plans are I'm, i don't really know about this tailgate i mean my plans are to get one of those uh aluminum pieces like i said that goes you know over the whole thing or i could get a little bitty a smaller one like on uh billy james and put across through there i was trying to kind of dress it up if you'll remember this bed is not original to the truck and it is a silverado so i'm kind of thinking that maybe this is the this bed might be a lower model not a silverado no something that doesn't have the the aluminum piece that goes across so that's my until then i'm going to go i'll have to go with this look till i come up with something the one on uh let's see the one on this 78 GMC Shannon that's at GM 1038s it's got a Chevrolet one on it so I'm hoping uh you know I can put a GMC on Shannon and take the Chevrolet one off and put it on here I'm just trying to make I'm just trying to dress it up just a little bit you know make things as I always say make them pop just a little bit uh this bumper's got a little bit of overspray on it but I was kind of working my way from the top going to the bottom. I'm going to repaint the bumper. And uh, I've already got the paint bought. And I don't know what where where I've done with it, though. Anyway, I've got it. It's in a bag in the garage. But anyway, I'm going to repaint the bumper. So I, I really wasn't worried about getting uh, anything, you know, any overspray anything on the bumper because it's going to be repainted. Uh, this is what... What it looks like from yesterday uh, painting it, to me it doesn't look too bad I'll show you this side too just just because I try to be equal anyway it doesn't look too bad I don't think if I can find that trim I'm gonna have to make a trip to the junkyard I've got a place in mind that maybe might have that but I'm not sure I just have to check and see and when I get an opportunity like I said at the moment my wife and I have a lot going on in our lives and so it's kind of hard to get away like we were doing a few weeks ago so 
it's kind of a kind of a struggle so it, it's uh just one of those things that anyway that that's why uh been kind of sticking around real close to the house anyway uh when i get a little bit more done on this truck i'll show you what it looks like when i sand it and everything i'm just letting it dry for just a few more minutes but i'll see you in a bit hang on there okay i've got the white part done and scuffed over it pretty good using my sanding block and my uh rough uh scotch bright the rough sound like a dog didn't it rough but rough anyway uh this part up here i'm not sure about i kind of went a little bit too far it didn't take much to get it off the blue i mean so but look when i close this i mean you can't hardly see it so and even where this little piece of rubber is uh missing a little bit right there uh, there's a spot there so i mean it kind of it kind of matches if you remember i'm always saying the tailgate gets the roughest treatment of anything on the truck in my opinion anyway so i mean it's kind of i don't know i'm going to ask mrs pib what she thinks if she wants me to reshoot it blue or not but i don't know i might kind of like it i've also got me a paper towel that's wet so I'm going to simulate, uh, you know, what, what it might look like with boiled linseed oil on it or penetrol. I kind of do this as an experiment. So we'll both kind of see what it looks like. Of course, I mean, this is not the real deal, of course, but it's got a lot of dust too. So anyway, we'll just kind of see what it looks like. Just a little. And I still got this. Uh, tape on here too. I need to get off I guess The beauty of it is I can always go over it again. I was just trying to see what this See all this stuff. Here's the real deal All of this except for where I maybe got a little bit too aggressive. I do that every time and Once again because I like to blame my mistakes on someone else. I'll blame it on that little radio right there <laughs> Oh, that kind of gets me out of a lot of trouble. But, no, seriously, I mean, I might go over that a little bit. That doesn't. But see, all this stuff is the real, real deal as far as scratches and a little bit of surface rust and stuff. So, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what it looks like here on the white. I don't know i don't think it's going to look too bad i just have to get used to it and like i said in my like in my other videos this is this is all real here i mean that's real real deal so i forgot what i was talking about oh I, with with my old trucks you can't hurt them even this little bit of paint i've put on is going to preserve it for a little bit longer so all I'm in, all I am doing is having fun and extending the life of this old truck, this old Papaw truck. So it's all good as far as I'm concerned. Once I get this done, this tailgate, I'm not going to get on it today. It's kind of got a late start. We had a bunch of errands to do today, but uh, if it's weather permitting, I'm going to start. Let's see, I'm going to start for, from the bed forward and try to match it up but i'll probably do the top first because that's the part i'm dreading i'm one of those top people if if uh if there's something if i'm dreading something i just soon get it over with i guess i got that uh from i i'm assuming i got all this the way i think get the worst of it over with now uh from when i was growing up if if my dad told me he was going to give me a whipping for something i had done Golly, I wish he, you know, most of the time he'd go ahead and give it to me, the, the whip, in which I, I deserved it. But other times, you know, he'd say, well, when we get home or something like that, golly, I hated that. I hated it because I'd, it just burnt the rest of the day, whatever we was doing, shopping or whatever. Anyway, uh, you know, sometimes, 
sometimes I need a little bit of an attitude adjustment. So, and I got it pretty quick. But sometimes he would wait till we got home and he uh, straightened me out pretty quick. And my mom would too, but my dad, he's the one I feared the most. He had a big old, uh, well, I'm not going to get into all that. Anyway, don't want a bunch of comments. But anyway, I had a lot of attitude, had attitude adjustments. I'll get it out here in a minute. So, and I got to tell you, I needed them. So it's, it's all good. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to look at this from the side view. It doesn't look too bad, does it? From the side. I think the boiled linseed oil will make a big difference. I think. But if my wife tells me to slap a little bit more blue up there, I'll be happy to do that. It just takes a second. But I just, just playing around. I mean, like I said, I can't hurt this truck. I don't know exactly what the plans is for it just yet, but uh, I'm having fun just playing around painting it so uh hopefully this uh the bed was in my opinion it, you know how i am now i mean i try to get the worst over with the bed was pretty bad as far as i was concerned so now if i get the top done and i mean i'm trying to look at it like the bed is longer than the cab and the fenders <laughs> so i'm thinking i'm on easy street once i get the the top of the cab and the hood i think i'll be on easy street but now who knows this hood i'm, I'm really dreading this hood at well and the top because well it's just it's just hard to get to I've, i'll have to tape all the windows all the rubber you know everything has to be taped up with newspapers and stuff and normally when i do that as soon as i get done that's when the wind starts blowing a little bit you know and it, you know how it is if you've ever done any outside painting with a rattle can. But I'm kind of dreading this hood because that's a lot of real estate right there. I know I've said that before about putting uh, lubricant on your hood hinges. Uh, there's a lot of hood right here. So anyway, we'll see what happens tomorrow or the next day, weather permitting. They're Like I said, they're calling for rain. They've been calling for rain for a couple of days, but... Luckily, I've been somehow avoiding it, but I'm afraid my luck might be starting to run out. So anyway, I guess I'll catch y'all in the next video. Don't forget, I have a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget. I'm also on Instagram, Primer is Best, which is what you're watching now on YouTube, Primer is Best, and uh, Instagram on uh, Primer is Best, Man on a Budget 1 on Instagram. And I'm also on Facebook, Primer is Best. I appreciate y'all watching this. I, I surely, surely do not mean to bore you with this old truck. I know it takes, it, it takes me a long time to get to, you know, to do things on it. So, I mean, just, just kind of bear with me. And maybe we'll go get through this together. And like I said in my other videos, maybe this is, maybe this is what to do and what not to do. But as I said, these old trucks like I play with, they're so dang old. Why? Well, I mean, you can't really hurt them. And, uh, you know, I have fun just playing around with them. Keeps me out of trouble. I'm here at home, so I'm, I'm all good. Y'all have a wonderful day. God bless each and every one of y'all. I, I appreciate y'all watching. And, uh, I guess I'll catch y'all in the next video. If you're interested, please subscribe. I'll see y'all later.